Hey there everybody. As you can see I'm outside today. It's uh, fairly nice for uh, this time of the year in December. Uh, it's in the mid 50s although it's gray and dreary and damp and not super pleasant outside. It's still uh, still better than we oftentimes get. It's 30 degrees anyway. Uh, 20 some 30 degrees above normal so uh, Good day for good day for December. Uh, we were supposed to have uh, sun and in the 40s a couple couple days ago, and uh, of course uh, it never got out of the 30s, and it was gray and dreary all day. We haven't had any sun in oh it seems like forever, but I think it's just a couple weeks or maybe even a week and a half. But uh, anyway, still pretty decent day for December. So I'm going to do another other one I've never had before. Well, I'd never had before. Uh, a couple days ago when it appeared on our shelves and I have had a couple of them from uh, Lagunitas Brewing Company I'm gonna do their brown sugar now I've done their sucks which is supposed to be the substitute for this um, I might have to buy a bottle of that and uh, try them side by side to see what difference there is um, but uh, anyway I've had a couple of these so I've got an initial impression <clears throat> From the website, it says, Originally a failed attempt at our 1997 batch of Old Gnarly Wine Ale, resulting in an all-new beer style we like to call irresponsible. They say 9.99%. Um, on the website, the bottle says 9.9, but what's well, 9 one-hundredths of a percent uh, among friends? So let's get this uh, brown sugar in a glass and see what we have. A little bit of a hiss, uh, no smoke, a uh, little bit of foam in the in the neck of the bottle. Yeah, there's uh, there's people out uh, out walking. Uh, the park's closed off, so people walk, hike on the hike on the roads. People walking their dogs. There's even some people out playing uh, disc golf, but. Uh, Anyway, we got a nice, uh, pretty clear uh, amber color. Maybe, maybe some hints of ruby red. Uh, I think they showed up better, uh, better in the inside light. Uh, like I said, there's no sun today. It's just gray and dreary. But uh, got a finger of a fairly thick, um, slightly off-white head, kind of eggshell colored. Uh, Nice looking, uh, nice looking beer. Um, so let's get a nose on it. Okay, yeah, that's. Uh, you can smell this is a very sweet beer. It's got. Uh, you're definitely getting those brown sugar hints and some caramel. There's some uh, fruit notes in there. Aroma. Uh, fruits are kind of a mix of a a light fruit and uh, some dark fruit both. Uh, the lighter are, are more like uh, tropical uh, tropical smells with some apple and apricot and uh, the, uh, the 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 darker notes are like cherry and plum um, hint of a biscuit note in there but uh, I'm maybe just getting some uh, getting some uh, light hops in there too um, Really, really nice, uh, nice smelling beer. So, let's give it a taste. Okay, yeah, just like the nose, it's it's sweet. Um, got a big multi flavor of uh, bready and doughy notes right there in the front. Uh, really, really, uh, really big level of sweetness right there in the start. Um, We're getting some uh, tropical fruits right in the beginning. Uh, it's a hoppy beer too. Um, I didn't see the IBUs on it. I don't know if it's on the. IBU, it says 51.3. So uh, it's getting up there a little bit. Um, but I'm getting a lot of hoppy notes. Um, primarily tropical like tangerine, mango, papaya in there. As well as um, tons of those uh, those caramel flavors. This is a this is definitely a malty beer. Um, 
is it moves to the middle of the mouth. You get some uh, grapefruits and some grassy notes. Um, and it gets a little more intense at the end where uh, it, it leaves kind of a, like a moderately hop, slightly bitter, uh, kind of fruity and sugary though, uh, with, with uh, some of those thick malt flavors. Um, kind of uh, kind of sticks around a little bit um, mostly it's a mix of uh, some slight sweetness from the malts and uh, some bitterness from the hops uh, uh, really really uh, really nice taste in beer um, they say uh, gnarly wine ale so I, I'm imagine it's um, probably uh, probably some sort of uh, resemblance of a of a barley wine, but um, the mouth feels just a little thicker and creamier. Um, uh, fairly, despite what appears to be uh, in the glass, there's a fairly uh, lower level of carbonation in there, but um, it mixes well with the uh, the big malt, the sweeter flavors, but. Uh, but it also highlights those hop flavors in there. Just a really, really nice, uh, nice tasting, nicely blended beer. So let me sit and sit and sip on this a while. And uh, I don't think it's going to warm up too much in these mid-50 weather. But uh, be back in a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour, 45 minutes or so. Um, I've been sipping on this um, as you can see there's not a ton gone but uh, leaving some really really beautiful lacing down the glass just a this is a stellar beer um, uh, I'm cer certainly glad uh, Lagunitas got to uh, finally got to our state and uh, started distributing like I said I had the, uh, the sucks before which is supposed to be the substitute for this so I will have to get one of those and maybe do them side by side. I may not do it as a review, but <coughs> just for my own knowledge. But uh, this is a nice, malty, uh, sweet brew with a decent amount of hops to, to counteract that uh, counteract that sweetness. And uh, unlike the one I had... Uh, yesterday which was just overly sweet cloyingly so um, but it's got a really really great drinkable drinkability at 9.9% uh, ABV it's uh, an ABV is not noticeable there may be a little bit of heat as it hits my stomach but uh, but other than that uh, you don't even really I don't even at least I don't even really notice the ABV uh, it's a nice easy drinking uh, big brew at 9.9 percent it is a big brew um, um, it's interesting that's for sure uh, I take one sip and I, th I might th I th it almost I almost think I'm uh, drinking like a double IPA and uh, take another sip and it's all I almost like it's almost like a strong ale uh, I'm not really sure what to what to call it um, it's got really nice balance and uh, Complexity, it's some sort of, I just, I guess I'd just call it maybe some sort of uh, hybrid double IPA, but uh, I'm definitely going to pick up another uh, another six pack of this and s stick three or four of them back in the cellar, because I'm thinking this, this is one that might really sell her well, um, now that we can finally get it in our state. Um, so I'm going to give the, it's a damn near perfect beer, it's not perfect, but it's damn good. So I'm going to give the Lagunitas Brown Sugar uh, Stellar Beer, Stellar Beer, Barley Wine, Double IPA, Strong Ale, whatever you want to call it. Um, damn good beer. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Um, solid, solid brew. Uh, easy drinking for, for, the, for, the, for the ABV. Um, like I said, definitely going to get some more. And... Uh, Stick some back in the cellar and enjoy the rest. So, a good winter warmer. Uh, it's a winter seasonal for them. So, uh, till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.